Here in Heidelberg, we focus on keyhole surgery. We also often perform major procedures, such as complex tumor resections of the pancreas, liver and esophagus, or of the colon and rectum. These operations are performed with support of surgical robots using minimally invasive techniques. We can perform these procedures at a high rate because we have the infrastructure and personnel expertise needed. It is not just one person who performs these procedures. It is a large team of highly trained surgeons. This enables us to offer minimally invasive procedures to a large number of patients. Right next to the operating room, we have intensive care units and intermediate care units. Our facilities also allow us to perform radiological diagnoses and interventions. We surpass the usual limitations of surgery and perform procedures that others do not. In Germany, and particularly here in Heidelberg, we have a large number of very individualized complex operations that cannot be performed robotically. Complex procedures in which various organs are affected. Currently, we are working with what we call the surgical black box. This means that we are one of the very first hospitals in Germany to digitally control all processes using a system that tracks the patient without identifying him or her personally. Yet we are still able to observe and track, whilst also redacting their personal information. Similar to an aircraft, we receive real-time information about possible disruptions and potential complications during the procedure. If that happens, the artificial intelligence, the software behind the black box, alerts us to problems and can help us to avoid complications, improving care along the way. We treat around 150 to 250 international patients per year on an inpatient basis. The number of outpatient procedures is considerably higher. We support by far the largest number of patients via telemedicine services. I believe that our hospital is worth visiting because we have decades of experience with international patients. We are prepared for them. We are familiar with the cultural differences treating patients from different nations. I believe that this is the most important thing. We know exactly how to talk our patients and meet their specific needs for a wide range of patients from different nations because we understand what they need. We also know how to adapt procedures to the individual and how to explain these. And we talk about how long the patient can expect to be here. We have a vast network of different clinics where patients can stay after their surgeries. We have very close connections to the other departments, built up over many years of experience. We can support the entire process from start to finish, offering the highest level in quality in our clinics. Our aim is not just doing the surgery, we treat the patient as a whole. That's why it's called general surgery. As a young doctor, I really like the fact that the range is very broad and that you can actually delve into the details in individual areas. That fascinated me. That's why I really wanted to go into general surgery. I think what really sets us apart is our attitude. We don't say, okay, no surgery necessary, that's it for us, and wrap up. We aim to treat the patient as whole. I am particularly impressed by cases where we excise tumors that are supposedly non-removable. Cases wherein we are still able to help the patient. Just last week, we had the case of a relatively young man with a large pancreatic tumor that had wrapped itself around the aorta. We still managed to remove the tumor. The patient is now doing well and will be able to go home soon. Of course, cases like these are what I love about medicine. It is unique to our profession. This job is a calling. There are specific data and scientific evidence that lead to guidelines on how to treat patients. Add to that the individual patient. What the individual patient needs is hope. Most of all in oncology, it is extremely important to give patients hope, but based on honest expectations, because the treatment options have changed dramatically in the last 10 years. Our outlook is no longer pessimistic, even when it comes to pancreatic cancer. Because we have many treatment options, we can offer a vast range of treatments. We can try one therapy and combine it with other forms of treatment. Radiation, chemotherapy, in intervals, immunotherapy, surgery, we can offer a plethora of treatments. What we cannot do is simply give up, taking away our patient's hope. What we must do is fight. That is what matters. It is not that patients have to fight alone, but rather that we have to fight for our patients.
That is my philosophy, and I share that with my team every day. We must always keep looking for a solution, and often we find really good solutions.